Look, you want to know why Apple sold more headsets than us? Just have a look at what they called. See, theirs ends in pro, but ours ends in ass. So no wonder people didn't want it. Oh, hi there. I'm Sam Tucker from Google. And you may have seen recently the Apple Vision Pro being compared to the MetaQuest 3, the Microsoft HoloLens, and of course, the Sony Smart Eye Glass. I look so cool today. Well, I'm sorry, everyone, but have we all forgotten that Google were the OGs when it came to face computers? Well, apparently Google would like to forget since we cancelled it after just two years. <laughs> but anyway, today we're going to compare apples to the Google Glass. So first of all, you might not remember, but Google Glass was kind of a big deal. It showed up at fashion shows, TED Talks, and while Apple Vision might be loved by tech royalty, our product was loved by royalty royalty. That's right, so let's compare the features now, shall we? So when you put the Apple Vision on, it gives you pass-through quality of around 4K per eye, whereas the Google Glass doesn't actually have any glass there. So you get infinite K resolution to see the world. Uh, when it comes to the actual Vision Cube screen though, well, that was 360p, which is the second worst P. But that's still plenty enough to do things like contact your friends on Google+. Oh yeah, that doesn't exist now either, does it? Whatever, we're not the only ones with bad ideas, okay? For goodness sake, at least it lasted longer than the touch bar. So shut it. Another benefit is when you put our headset on, it doesn't tend to deform your face. Because it was a tenth of the weight, a tenth of the popularity, and was still $1,500. Wow, that seems like a lot. Wow, and how is our battery even worse than Apple's? The biggest problem with these things is the battery. It literally lasts 45 minutes. All right, let's talk hand gestures. Now, Apple tracks your hands through an array of cameras and LiDAR sensors. Whereas our headset tracks your hands through a trackpad. You just simply swipe and tap your head just like you're having the headache that you are. All right, look. Our headset may not have been as polished and nice as Apple's version, but, but that's because we're rebels, you know? We don't play it safe. Like, for example, at least we were man enough to demonstrate the thing in front of a live audience, instead of inviting everyone to our HQ and then just showing them a video. Lame. Oh, and speaking of video, when you're taking someone's picture on the Apple Vision, the whole thing lights up and makes Daddy look like some sort of dystopian Robocop. Dad are alive, you are coming with me. Meanwhile, the original Google Glass didn't have any outside indication that you were filming people and invading their privacy. And so, it's just like modern Google. The Apple Vision and Google Glass. Our team demonstrated it by jumping out of a plane. Apple's Tim demonstrated theirs by sitting in a chair. Subscribe today. Uh oh, look, he stood up, everyone. <laughs> How exciting. Hey, everyone, thanks for watching the video. And why not check out Meta's reaction as well as Microsoft's reaction to the Apple Vision Pro by clicking the link in the description. But until next time, subscribe if you dare.